한국의 전형진 선수와 태국의 포시 페트라다 선수의 남자 단식 중결승 경기가 있겠습니다. 주식은 일본의 상카모토 ABC, 주식은 말레이시아의 라우치 대학입니다. So, men singles action up for you next. Second semi final of the day here at the Victor Korea Masters. You can see there the draw in the men's singles from quarter final stage onwards. We had five different nations featuring in yesterday's quarter finals three from Korea, two from Thailand. The Koreans take all three. Slots guaranteeing them one place in tomorrow's final. And an all Thailand quarter final yesterday meant they had one player guaranteed to feature here today. And that man is Kosit Petpradab of Thailand, the number seven seed. So this is the second meeting between these two players. The Japan Open qualifying rounds just a couple of months back. It was the man from Thailand that won on that day in straight games. But he's up against this man, John Hyuk Jin the number four seed from Korea. Ranked number 24 in the world, currently was up inside the top 20. Somewhere around this time last year. At age 22, he's got a long way to go still. making reasonably short work of the tournament so far this week. That second round match against his teammate Hong Ji Hoon. Perhaps his toughest match of the week so far in 53 minutes. Kosit Petpradab number seven seed here from Thailand, 23 years of age. Up at his career, high ranking, just crept inside the world's top 30 recently. And he had to overcome his teammate yesterday in the quarterfinals, which he did so in fine style, 11 and 7. The scoreline just 25 minutes. 
the only man to take a game off him so far this week, Ren Pengbo of China. Our umpire for today, Sakamoto Emi of Japan, and she's supported by her service judge from Malaysia, Lao Chen Li. So Pep Radam from Thailand with the opening serve playing in the white shirt nearest us at the bottom of your screens. for the Lions early on in this opening game. Misfiring on two occasions. Better from the Thai player. Thumbs over. Two, three. Much more conservative attack. The body smash. And the follow up into the middle of the court. Dad misses another. Five to the lead. Without doing a great deal. Jian Hyuk Jin. Oh, poor judgment this time. Perfect Touch length over. on the lift. Attack once more. Four, five. Yeah, tremendous height. 
Prep that I was able to gain off the floor with that smash. Powerful young player. Oof, just wide of that sideline. Impressive tournament results so far this week from John Hyuk Jin there. Hasn't dropped a game all week and perhaps the result I was most surprised about. Yesterday's quarter final against Brice Levadez of France. Six, five. One of the remaining European players left in the tournament to that stage. 21-9, 21-12. Nine, nine, a surprise result for me. Brice Levadez has been playing fairly well all year. It seems, however, the Frenchman doesn't like coming up against John Hyuk Jin. That was the third time they've met on, on all three occasions. John Hyuk Jin beat the Frenchman and on all three occasions in straight games. Good net play from the Korean. Pradam, he's not Seven. firing on all cylinders just yet. Straight attack from Gion. Switched his feet, he was up early looking for that straight smash. Up from Pepperdam, I thought the Korean had had the rally Ten. with that cross smash. Great 
great pick up. Well, a more conservative approach from John Hyuk Jin, and it's working, it's paying off at this stage. He leads 11 8 at the mid game interval. Backhand lift wide. 12, eight. A good net exchange. Pepperdab unable to control the backhand. And it's another cheap point for Jean Hyuk Jin. Which suggests he's not entirely comfortable at the moment because it prepped the dab. Good pick up. And another one. Outside the court. Yeah, it was way long. Cozy at Pepperdab just struggling to find his rhythm. Much better accuracy from John Hyuk Jin. That straight smash, inch perfect. Nine, six, 
much more conservative rally from the Thai player. Seems to rely, for me, on the big smash from the back of the courts. And then a follow-up kill. We haven't seen many occasions where Pepper Dab is looking to win the net battle and get the short lift. Hard work for him out there at the moment, the Korean defending so well. Another one's gone wide. Too many errors from the Thai player under no real pressure. Yeah, good smash from John Hyuk Jin. And it's the Korean with game point here in the first. Good length, though, from Pep Pradam. Point number two. Much better from Kosi Pepperdam.
Well, on his back against the wall, he's playing some of his best badminton so far in this, in this game. Better play than Petrodab. Can he cling on one more time to this game? Oh, good bit of skill from John Hyuk Jin. First game won by John Hyuk Jin, 21-16. It took a few attempts on game points, but just able to close things out and takes the opening game, 21-16. So game one goes the way of the Korean, Jeon Hyuk Jin. A very conservative approach from him. Fairly orthodox singles play. It was Pepper Dab that was really going for the lines. And going for power from difficult positions. Perhaps is undoing, particularly early on in that game, the Thai player going for too much on occasion. Yeah, good stuff. From John Hyuk Jin. Seven over. One. Oh. Quarter final, of course, here last year, John Hyuk Jin. He was defeated in three games by Kashyap Paripali of India, who went on to the final at the GGU Korean Masters. So he's already done one better than last year, and in fact, Best he's done all season, really, or at least equaled it. Semi final at the Taipei Open in the summer. 
couple of Super Series quarterfinals to back that up. Pepperdab doesn't look happy out there at the moment, still looking a little nervous. Over. Two, four. Not looking entirely comfortable, looking frustrated. his feet out well looking for that forehand rear corner pepper down but great net play from the korean Good play from a late rear position. Pepper Dab. And a broken string. string on this backhand net kill it seems Good net this time for Pepperdam. Can he maximize? Oh, it's just gone wide. Better play though from the man from Thailand.
missed again with another smash. Petrodam. Eight, five. Not his best performance so far, at least in this men's single semi final. Straight smash from Gion. Nine, five. Is Riley still going? Yeah, the backhand clears wide of the court. Service over. Six, nine. Eight. Another one wide. Six, seven, nine. Frustration setting in for Jion Hyuk Jin as well. Seen the pet Pradab at the Korean Masters once before back in 2013. Twenty-five years of age then he lost in the opening round to Jung Kyung Hua of Korea 19 and 19 and what a return to the Korean Masters. This is a semi-final place already. Yeah, good pressure into the middle. 11, 7, interval. From John and into the body. Pepper Ab unable to control the reply and four points the lead now. John Hyuk Jin mid-game interval here in the second.
So Pet Pradab in need of a change of tactics. It's a good hold from Pet Pradab to put Xion on his backhand. Smash, not finding the court. John Hyuk Jin, backhand drive. Well, it was weak from Pepper Dam, really. Should have gone on over the Korean rather than through him. He's done the same thing again. Needed to play soft net or over the top. Unanswered points from John Hyuk Jin. Yeah, that's better net play from Petrodab. Playing the tight net 11, and holding 17. to look for the kill. We haven't seen enough of that from him this match.
Good finish despite the missed time shot. Well, that slower drop shot is something 19. we haven't seen a lot of from Petrodab either. Very one-dimensional game, and it seems that John Hyuk Jin took a lot of lessons from their initial meeting back in Japan in September. Much better preparation for this semi-final here today for him. Smash to the body from John Hyuk Jin. Well placed, well timed. And after 43 minutes of play, the Korean with a match point, he only needs the one, the backhand into the net from Kosit Petpradab brings things to an end. And it's another Korean into tomorrow's finals here at the Victor 2017 Korea Masters. Straight games then in 43 minutes. John Hyuk Jin. The victor today. And straight games as well, 21-16, 21-14. Don't go anywhere, we've got women's doubles action for you next. Chao Mei Kwan and Li Mengjian of Malaysia, they're up against Kim So Hyung and Kong Hee Yong.
So two semi-finals down. Men's doubles and men's singles out of the way. Korean winners in both. We've got women's doubles up for you next.